Hello students, in this video we'll derive a recursion relationship for the Bessel functions. Let's recall the Bessel function of order n. is, where I'm assuming that n is going to be an integer, j n of x is equal to the sum, k goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k over k factorial n plus k factorial x over 2 to the 2k plus n. Okay? That's my Bessel function of order n. And so now we claim, here's our recursion relationship, our recursion. Our recursion is that j n plus 1 of x is equal to 2n over x j n of x minus j n minus 1 of x. Okay, so how do we prove this recursion? So we prove it as follows. So here comes the proof. Proof. We're going to look at the left hand side of this problem over here. So I have a 2n over x j n is going to be the sum. k goes from 0 to infinity negative 1 to the k over k factorial n plus k factorial and then x over 2 x over 2 to the k plus 2k plus n and then from this i'm going to subtract off j n minus 1 so that's the sum k goes from 0 to infinity negative 1 to the k over k factorial and then k plus n minus 1 factorial like that x over 2 to the 2k plus n minus 1. All right, so that's just using the definitions of these Bessel functions. And so now what I'm going to do is the following. So what we can say over here is I'm going to reduce the x by 1, and I'm going to reduce the 2 by 1, and then I'm going to multiply everything by n. So this first term over here is going to turn into what? It's going to turn into the sum. k goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, keep an n on top, k factorial, n plus k factorial, and then I divide by x, so it's going to reduce this x by 1, and I multiply by 2, which is going to reduce that 2, that 1 half by 1, so it's going to be 2k plus n minus 1, like that. Excellent. Look at this sum over here. So now, these terms over here have the, are, are coinciding, right? So now we're going to have a what? So now we have a negative, and what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to modify this a little bit over here. This is going to be k goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, and now I'm going to put a k plus n plus 1 in the numerator, k plus n in the numerator, just a k plus n rather, and then a k factorial, and then an, that turns into an n plus k factorial, and then x over what? Over 2 to the 2k plus n minus 1, like that. Great. And so now look what I've done over here. Now these things over here have the same, I have x over 2 to the 2n plus 1, x over 2 to the 2k plus n minus 1. So both those exponents are the same. They both have the same denominator, so I just have to add the numerators together. So together, I can combine these two things over here. k goes from 0 to infinity, like that, negative 1 to the k, and then I'm going to have an n minus k plus n, like that, from those terms over k factorial n plus k factorial x over 2 to the 2k plus n minus 1. Great. And so now what? And so now, um, what does this simplify to? This is going to simplify to just a negative k, right? So that's going to be a negative k, like that. And so this is going to turn into a what? Turn into the sum k goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k plus 1. I get an extra negative sign. And then I have a k over k factorial, so that's going to turn into a what? That's going to turn into a k minus 1 factorial like that. And then I'm going to have an n plus k factorial, x over 2 to the 2k plus n minus 1. Now, since I had a negative k over here, the k equals 0 term was really gone. So this k equals 0 in reality is a what? This k equals 0 is really, in, in reality, a k equals 1. Because when I, I can't have a negative 1 factorial, and so I really, when I put a 0 over here, there was no first term. So this series really starts at 1. It doesn't start at 0. And that's an important observation to make. Because now what I can do is I can shift the index, indices of summation, right? So I'm going to now subtract off a 1 from this k, so now k will 
really go from zero to infinity. If I subtract a k over here, I have to add a k over there, right? So that's gonna be a negative one to the k plus two over k factorial. And then I have to add one to the k over here, so that's gonna be an n plus k plus one factorial. And then an x over two to the what? An x over two to the two k plus one plus n minus one. And this is a two minus one, that's a one. So this sum over here is really just only more than what? The, uh, the negative one to two goes away, and this is just gonna be the sum. K goes from zero to infinity of negative one to the K. And then a K factorial, K factorial, an N plus K plus one factorial. And then an X over two, X over two, to the two K, two K plus N plus one now. And look what that looks like. Well, that's exactly equal to what? That's exactly corresponding to an n plus one and n plus one over here. That's just j n plus one. So this is just j n plus one of x. And now we've therefore established that what? We've therefore established our recursion relationship over here. So this is with the left-hand side over here. So this expression over here is just the left-hand side is equal to j n plus one. Now this recursion relationship for best functions is very powerful because what this allows me to do is this will allow me to, in a further video, I will show this recursion relationship allows us to conclude that the, this generating function for the Bessel function. So we're able to get an information on the generating function for j zero. And we're gonna show that the generating function, the sum, n goes from negative infinity to infinity of jn of x t to the n, this Laurent expansion is equal to what? Is equal to e to the x over two t plus t to the negative one. So we're able to, what we'll do then is that whenever you have a recursion relationship, you're able to generate a generating function by writing down infinite expansion and then shifting the infinite expansion so that you see the terms that will be further on. And then I will shift this expansion down by one term and use the recursion relationship to write the generating function in terms of itself. And we'll use this, and this function over is very powerful because it will allow me to obtain all sorts of relationships, Fourier Bessel relationships for these Bessel functions by replacing this t with an e to the i theta, and this will turn into a Fourier series whose coefficients are these Bessel functions, and it's a very, very important application, in particular to vibrations of circular membranes in problems in acoustics. Thank you very much.